Hello YouTube, back with another video. Sorry, I've, I've been kind of offline for the last few days. I've been working a lot of hours and uh, haven't made any videos or done much with YouTube. But I got a early today and I have the next two days off, so I'm going to do some catching up on some stuff. I got a video contest coming up and a couple other things. But um, I got tagged by Civilian Soldier 762 by uh, what things I would, what five things I would carry in a bag in a survival situation for five days. And I've watched a couple of other people's videos. I've watched KBAR users and um, Shannon from Youth to Wild. And I got some good ideas from them and what they had thought they should bring. But I want to do, I want to do my own thing. I want to show you guys what I would bring. So. First thing I would bring is a knife. And the reason I choose this knife, it's not the best of knife, it's not the highest of quality, but it's got a saw tip on it if I need to cut wood. It's got a pretty good blade on it, pretty sharp if I needed to cut something with it. It's got the lanyard on it, so if I needed to use it, this uh, line for anything. I can twist this cap off. And I got a compass right in there. So I got the compass in there. Inside it's hollow. And what I got in here I got some matches, I got a sewing kit, a fishing kit, I got um, some wine, a couple uh, needles. So if I needed to, I can make a fishing, I can make a fishing pole, try to catch some fish. Um, I could start a fire if I ran out of my primary one. Um, if I cut myself deep or something, I, I got uh, a needle. Um, where I could sew myself up or if I needed to sew a hole up in my pants or whatever um, I could do that. So this is the reason why I, I choose this knife um, I would have taken I would have chosen my kukri blade But I figured for practicality. I, I could probably get more use out of this um, This blade from five days It's a cheap knife. It's it's not the highest of quality but, I mean, if I really wanted to, I could make a sphere out of it, too. You can see the holes in there. So I could, I could tie some rope around this or um, some branches or whatever and make a sphere if I needed to, like, fish for, or spear for fish or whatever. So I, I could use this right here, this knife. This is a survival knife. It's got this sheath on it. Not the best of quality. Um, second thing I would bring... is a water bottle. You gotta have water, so this is what I would bring. Um, I've seen a couple of shows, TV shows, where if you fill this up with water and you leave it up, up high enough, you can actually boil through plastic. I've seen it on Bear Grylls. He uh, boiled uh, some water just from a regular water, um, one you'd buy in the store. He just held it over the fire and he boiled the water. So if I had to boil water with this, I could. So, I got this, a water bottle. Now, to go along with the water bottle, sorry guys, I got some purification tablets. You can see them. iodine and some tablets. I would use this to purify my water. This would be my main source if I couldn't boil. I would use the purification tablets um, to get clean water. So that's number three. Number four, I got my fire starter here.
you can see that and I'll take it off the chain so what you do is with this is you scrape magnesium off right here to a little pile and then you use this to strike it strike a fire I've actually lit a couple fires with this works really good so this would be my main source of fire would be this um, fire starter it's really good I've used it it's in my bag keep it with me all the time my survival bag and the last thing I would take is a firearm and I went back and forth a couple different times with what I wanted to bring for a firearm but I ended up choosing my Heritage Arms Rough Rider and I chose the 22 Magnum just because it's got a little bit more pop so Twenty two Magnum. I could hunt with this. If I really absolutely had to kill a deer, I could shoot him in the head with it. Um, this could take down a, a larger size animal like a deer. Um, I wouldn't suggest using it, but you can take squirrels down or um, rabbits or whatever, smaller game, with the twenty two Magnum. Um, holds six rounds. You guys have seen this gun before. Um, it's got a six inch barrel, so it's pretty accurate. It's a pretty accurate gun, and I would trust it for um, for hunting, for small game hunting, or if I had to go after a, a rabbit or um, a deer, I would use this. Now, my other choice would have been my 357, and the reason why I decided not to go with the 357 would be practicality. I could get more use out of the 22. Um, the 357 be, would be more for like hunting bigger game or trying to protect yourself. But if I'm in a survival situation and I'm trying to survive just the last five days and I just need to find something to eat, I could use this. I could shoot fish in water with this. I could shoot rabbit or whatever. So those are my five choices. Um, my knife, my water bottle, purification tablets, my Coleman fire starter, my 22 Magnum Rough Rider. Um, I can put 22 long rifles and I just got to change the color, but I prefer to have the 22 mag. It's got a little bit more pop. And then I could I could carry 50 of these bullets around, and these are pretty light. Um, so those are my choices. Um, I want to thank Civilian Soldier 762 for tagging me. Um, it's a great idea. Um, I do want to tag two people. Um, I would like to see what Gun Crazy 81 would take, and I would also like to see what Mr. Brandon Annette would take um, if he had to choose five things in a bag so this is my choices guys um, I again thanks for uh, watching my video um, leave me some comments subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and um, thank you civilian soldier 762 K bar user and uh, youth to wild um, I think your uh, your ideas were great um, I love every one of them so uh, you guys have a wonderful day thank you very much goodbye